Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to run the newest Gemma 7 billion and 2 billion parameter models from Google. From what I understand, these models are based on the same architecture as Gemini 1.5, the GPT-4 competitor. These just have lower parameter counts. So I'm going to be showing you what it looks like first and then I'm going to be showing you how to actually run it for yourself. So this doesn't require any GPU. You don't need an NVIDIA or AMD GPU. This just runs on your CPU. All you need is these files right here as well as 7-zip and you can run the model. So I'll have this batch file in the description. You can just copy and paste the text from the description into a file called run.bat. If you don't know how to make a file, you just go to new uh, text document and then rename the extension to .bat. And if you can't see the extension, you need to go to view and enable file name extensions. We're going to run the batch file now and this is what it looks like and then it should pop up with this if everything is working. So I'm going to give it a test prompt here and this prompt is a very difficult programming question that only the top models are able to complete. So this is the prompt. It's a very difficult programming question. We're going to give it the prompt and I'd like to mention in Google's paper they actually claim that this model is better than Mistral 7b at basically everything including programming and it's even better than the Llama 2 to 13 billion parameter model which is not a very old model at all so if we go back to here it looks like it's generating just fine we're getting about maybe two and a half three tokens per second here and this is running on my 3900x cpu so if you have a faster cpu this will run faster if you have a slower one it'll obviously run a little bit slower this model needs about nine gigabytes of ram to run if you have eight gigabytes it might run it might not I'm not sure it could use the swap file um, and a swap file is basically an extension of RAM that uses your C drive as uh, some extra RAM and it makes sense that this is using nine gigabytes because if we actually go to the model itself this model file here is about nine gigabytes so I'm gonna wait for this to finish then we're gonna actually try to run this code and see how it compares to other models in another video if you're interested in that video I'll have a card right here that you can click that takes you right to it I'll also have the link in the description and I'll have the pinned comment take you right to it I'm gonna be comparing a bunch of different models I've tried a bunch of different models here's a sneak peek of ones that didn't get it right but interestingly enough is sometimes these models get it right and sometimes they get it wrong but there's certain models that pretty much always get it wrong so I tried a whole host of different models from very large ones with 72 billion parameters to very small ones with 7 billion parameters and I gave them all the same question and compared how they did programming if you're not a programmer that's totally fine this is a really good test of general intelligence as well so it looks like it's pretty much done generating code so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it into this Python file then we're gonna give it the standardized X and Y here that's just so I can stand standardize the test so that we have something to compare against. We're going to run this and see how it runs. So it looks like we have a list assignment index out of range error. I am not smart enough to be honest to know how to fix that or how difficult that would be, but I can tell you just by looking at the code, it looks very similar to what the correct answers are. So the model is fairly good, but there are models that actually get it right on the first or second try. And you would be surprised which ones actually get it right. It may not be the ones that you think. So that doesn't mean that this model is bad. It is fairly good. It is comparable to Mistral. It just means that it's not as good on this particular question, but I'm still gonna claim that it's not the best model. If you're interested in seeing what the best model is that you can run on your local machine, then I highly recommend you check out the video that I mentioned earlier. So now we're gonna get into how to actually run this model. So the first thing you'll wanna do is head to the description. There will be a GitHub link to the Gemma.C++ repository. And the first thing that we're going to need is the model that is the biggest file that we need so let's download that one first so click on the actions button here and then this page will look different because in the future there's constantly adding new stuff here but look for one that says something about the windows build include windows and github actions build and go ahead and click on the newest one there and then if you scroll down you'll see it says Gemma windows latest windows release and I can't click this right now and that's because I'm not logged in so you have to sign up or sign in to your github account and then when you come back to this page this will be a download link 
Now, if it comes up saying that it's a virus, I can assure you that it's not a virus. This is a repository from the actual Google account. If it doesn't let you download it, or if you can't find the link there, let me know in the comments or in the Discord server in the description. I can get you an alternative link to the file. But once you get that file downloading, the next thing that you'll need is to go back to the GitHub main repository page here, and then scroll down to where you see this Kaggle link. I'll also have this link in the description so you can get to it pretty easy. So click on the Kaggle link. There's a bunch of stuff on this page, but you just need to scroll down to model variations. Click on Gemma C++ and then you can choose your variation here so the github repository has a really good quick way to choose which model is best for you just as a rule of thumb I recommend you get one that has SFP and IT in the name the 2 billion parameter model will require less RAM so if you don't have more than 8 gigabytes of RAM you may want to run the 2 billion parameter model it's not gonna be quite as smart though so there is a compromise there but it uses less RAM and it uses less storage storage but the one that we're gonna run here is the 7 billion instruction tuned 8-bit floating point model the float 16 models are about twice the size but they're pretty much just as good so we're gonna go with this one so let's go back to the Kaggle and then we can click on the 7 billion instruction tuned SFP model and then once you do that just go ahead and click this download link right here and it'll take you to this page if you're not signed in basically you just need to sign in or make a Kaggle account or you can verify with hugging face or Google Google or email or whatever whatever you want to sign in with and then it will have you sign a consent form basically just telling you not to do anything evil with the model so once you get those two things downloaded it will look like this so this is the thing that we downloaded from github earlier and this is what the Kaggle download should look like so if you've never seen an archive.tar.gz file before it is a very compressed file sort of like a zip file but this one has multiple layers so you'll need 7-zip for this I'll leave the link to that in the description so that you can download that it's the best program to use for unzipping anything zip files tar files raw files whatever and I don't think that you can unzip GZ or tar files in Windows natively so once you have 7-zip installed you can right click on this file and you can open with 7-zip and then you'll see it, it'll say archive.tar in here that is the second layer archive so just click on extract and then you can uh, click OK to extract to the current directory that you're in and then you'll have this new file the archive.tar and then you need to do the same thing right click on that open with 7-zip and then you'll see this has two files in here and you can click extract and it will extract the two files that I have right here this is the actual model file itself and the tokenizer that you need with it the gemma.exe and the libgemma.lib files come from the github repository that we did downloaded from earlier and then the batch file that I ran is in the description so just make a bat file and then paste in what I have in the description and you may need to change these two parameters here depending on which model you downloaded so for example if you have the 2 billion you change that to a 2 here and if you downloaded the non SFP one you'll have to take that off of the compressed weights there basically you just copy the name of this and put it there then you can just run the batch file and off to the races so that's pretty much it thanks for watching i hope it worked out for you if it didn't leave a comment or join the discord server and then i can get you some help or if any of the links in the video are down or you can't find them or whatever you can ask me for an alternative link and i can get that to you thanks for watching and have a great day